currently on the screen is a satellite view of the Western region. Welcome to a further update from the Force 13's Australia Oceana Channel where Tropical Cyclone Moya, a weak cat one, has made landfall up there in the North Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal. This is the latest satellite imagery provided by the NOAA. Joy Typhoon Warning Center is reporting that uh, Moya has uh, 22 feet rave height. Force 13's main channel is also uh, providing uh, coverage uh, to this system. This is one uh, model, a view of the uh, system, and it looks like Moya is tracking in a northerly possibly northeast direction. This is the latest from the uh, Indian Met Office and the information is in the scrolling text at the top of the screen. Cyclone Moya has started crossing the case south of Chittagong. That was earlier today, local time. latest tropical cyclone formation probability and other than the east pack are we going to see a uh, system to the west southwest of Sumatra the latest from the joint typhoon the warning center on the Moya The information via the uh, centre is delayed. Ocean heat content. Sea surface temperature is a healthy 31, 32 degrees Celsius. Now look at some satellite imagery, the storm relative 16 kilometer GA stationary water vapor. This is one that I like personally. IRWV Microwave RGB Imagery Enhanced Infrared
Now we have a look at the local Australian uh, scene. We've got an updated marine wind warning in place for Tasmania. For the remainder of today, far north, west coast, east of Flinders Island, upper east coast. Now we have one for the Northern Territory. And also a expanded one for Wednesday. Victoria, Central Gippsland, KC Gippsland, KC Cancellation, West Support, West Coast, Central KC for the remainder of today and a strong wind warning for the East Gippsland KC for Wednesday. Now this is the upper level divergence, Western region. And the area of interest is the west southwest from Sumatra. Bureau of Meteorology's uh, Northern Territory Office is now monitoring this uh, low pressure system, which was uh, earlier today around the 1006 hectopascals. This is the wind, latest wind shear for the region. And the environment's not that healthy, mainly the uh, area in green and yellow. The latest Bureau of Meteorology's rainfall across the next eight days. And again, the west coast, Tasmania, Tropical North uh, Queensland case and into the picture comes the eastern region of the Northern Territory Gove and look at that area in purple area south of Fraser Island and down to probably around Port Macquarie North New South Wales And another look at the storm, relative 16 kilometre microwave, total precipitable water. Look at the Solomon Island region, Himawari 8 loop. Total precipitation via the GFS model for the eastern region and part of the southeast Pacific and taking in the North Island of New Zealand. And as mentioned, look at the area south of Fraser Island. And look at the Australian continent region. And look at the Indian Ocean region.
look at that area in yellow. Now we have a look at the windy one or two models and looking at the wind feature. This is for the west southwest region of Sumatra where we have a weak tropical low. It's far too early to say whether it will deepen. We will uh, monitor the Bureau of Meteorology for any other information along with uh, possible floaters from the NOAA. Now this is out to at least Monday of next week and when viewing weather models and tracks our uh, position is that uh, you've got to apply caution and also to monitor the official uh, sources such as the Bureau of Meteorology the New Zealand Met Office, Vanuatu Fiji, the Solomon Islands, the uh, Indonesian Met Office, Joint Typhoon Warning Centre, one of my favourites, and the various warning pages provided by the Australian Bureau of Meteorology. And as the focus shifts to the Northern Hemisphere with the uh, hurricane season starting in less than 36, uh, 40 hours. The Northern Hemisphere, particularly the Atlantic, could see a, a very busy period. And bye for now. You can follow Force 13 on any of our many outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker. Of course, we're on YouTube. You're probably watching us there, but if not, there it is. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13, all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, um, also all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype and add extension 9094 on Discord. <laughs>